started bashing on Rhinestone, saying, how dare this guy, he's a woman. Mm -hmm. Others defending Rhinestone, saying that Gabby was getting in her face. Others saying, because we don't have footage of it actually happening, how do we know she's not lying? So I, of course, wanted to find out a little bit more. I reached out to both of them. As of recording this video, only Gabby responded. She showed her phone was an e crack. In her Snapchat, she also said she wanted Rhinestone to pay for her phone. She sent me screenshots of her receiving that money. So it seems to support at the very least that she did destroy her phone. She went on to explain how that phone was broke. Claiming he was aggressive and violent, bored at the very, bored at the very, at least that he did destroy her phone. She went on to explain how that phone was broke. Claiming he was aggressive and violent, twisted my arm when I said the Ghost Rider joke, stood up, twisted my arm, and held me down. He kept trying to pry my phone out of my hand. I kept holding on, so he forcefully pushed and grabbed at me again and slammed it down as hard as he could and stormed out. That seemed to be a big point that she was trying to get across. She doesn't want this to seem like she's just doing it for attention. I that she was only responding to me because she said she didn't want to talk to the drama channel because then it would seem like she was trying to get attention and cause drama. She said she wanted to make sure that people knew what actually happened and not the crazy stories that Rice Gum punched Gabby in the face. Although he did tweet publicly, I did not hit a girl, laugh my ass off, this bitch is tripping. He talks about person who's built career on, who's exaggerating and lying about stories for money. This is exactly what you want. Fuck this girl and all this fake shit. Ask anyone at that party. Video up later today. I would say to me personally, it sounds like Rice Gum just had it. Hit her. Gabby seemingly has been trying to re-clarify that when she said hit, she meant that he was manhandling her, pushed her down. That's why she has scratches, not bruises. As of right now, that's where the situation ends. Without getting a response from Rice Gum right now, it doesn't look that great for him. Hey, Said that Gabby can be seen as an admission of guilt, admission of fault. At the very least, that seems to support the narrative that he grabbed and cracked her phone. And the marks and scratches seem to go along with Gabby's story of being aggressively handled by Rystone. But it is important to separate and note that there was no admission of that part in the video. Finally, to the argument on, well, she shouldn't have gone over to him, she shouldn't have gotten in his face, she shouldn't have started talking shit. The way I see it is if you're going to talk shit online like Rystone does, you need to be able to take it in real life as well. You're not able to take those words in real life, you're just a laptop gangster. And if your response to words and jokes, which are a response to your words and your jokes, is to escalate it into the physical, you look like you're doing the wrong thing. But I'm also going to pass that question off to you. What do you think about this? Even if you don't care about the ins and outs of the YouTube community, consider it a person A, person B scenario. What's your takeaway from this story? I'd love to know. But from that, I want to share some stuff I love today, today and awesome. My first bit of awesome, hopefully, just got a trailer for the reboot of it, and it brought out some old feelings that I had pushed down inside. Now, I don't know how it'll actually hold up, but I always say that the today and awesome part, it, it's the optimistic, hopeful part of me. So about 4% of what makes a Philip different. It's likely that I will not like it as much, but that's because I watched it when I was a kid. You know, that top tier emotional scoffing stage. I feel like for me, it lasted a little longer than some. I remember after the first time I watched the movie The Ring, it was a midnight show, and I went home, I unplugged the TV in my phone. I want to be that scary. Again. Then, Destiny fans rejoice really bad. I'm just talking to you. Video game addict, and rather than FaceTiming me and your grandson, you're always going on 